Good morning. My name is Ann Dolby and I am a librarian at Pasadena High School. I am making this video to help you understand how you can set up um, a Google slide presentation that you can then project uh, book trailers on. So um, what we have in our, the, the front of our library, outside of our library, is it's a little bland and so we thought we wanted to bring so, to have something up there <coughs> that would uh, draw the kids in. So we came up with the idea of having a TV that could do like rolling book trailers uh, or announcements or whatever we wanted to do. So that was kind of our concept. And then there were lots of pieces that went into it. So we had to get a smart TV, a all-in-one computer, um, a uh, wireless mouse, wireless uh, keyboard. Uh, we had to have the district uh, put electricity up there by the wall or up there by the ceiling, um, run a data drop. So we also have a uh, USB cord to it. Uh, we have the uh, HDMI cord, like we have all the cords. Uh, so that's all hooked up now, and that was a long process. Um, hopefully, if you're trying to do this, you can talk to your tech person, and he or she might know how to walk you through that. Um, the software aspect of it was fairly easy. Uh, all you have to do is go to Google Slides. Uh, first, let me show you. I have uh, this list of book trailers that I made. Um, all I did was I just included the, uh, the link to them. Uh, these are all book trailers. Either we have that book personally in the library or we have it on Sora, which is our digital library app. Um, so then you go to, you want to create a slide, okay? Uh, I believe I have some on here. I do. So, all I've done is delete that one. All right, so I started with uh, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind, okay? Uh, all you have to do is go in, uh, add a slide if you want to. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, and then what I did was I uh, made sure I copy and pasted. Uh, let's just do this hyperlink, okay? So I'm going to say copy hyperlink. And then I go to uh, back over here. And then I'm going to say insert video. Okay. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste that right there. It looks it up. Hit select. And it's in there. Okay. Now you can mess around with this as much as you want to. Um, what I did was I uh just like drew him all the way to the end all the way to the end and then like i said some of them are actually in the library some of them are only on sora so i typed in the bottom here uh this is only on sora so uh let's see helpful uh so this is only on sora and so just like like this one here. All right, so I type that in. All you have to do to be able to type something in is just again go back to insert and you do text box. Okay, and then you would just draw it like that and then you can write whatever you want to in there. Okay, now the tricky thing that I had to figure out is uh, so I'm going to delete that one just for the sake of what we're doing right now. Okay, uh, so what you want. What we wanted to do was we wanted to let this play. So we wanted to let this play on the TV outside uh, go from one video to the next, right? So what you have to do is you have to go to uh, in this setting here. Uh, so this is the first one, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, you can go to transition. Um, and you can do whatever you'd like to with this, that's fine. Uh, you go to the next one then. Now what you want to do is as soon as the first video stops, 
there's a little bit of lag time and you can decide how much of a lag time you want it to be. But uh, after that lag time, it'll go to the next slide and it'll automatically start playing the video. But you have to tell it to do it. Okay, so you go to uh, right here where it says object animations. Uh, so it says play on click right now. All right. Well, you don't want to do that. You don't want to stand out there and have to click. So you're going to do uh, play on and then you're going to click automatically. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, automatically. I'm sorry. Okay. And then it says either with previous or after previous. So I did after previous for all of them. Okay. And then you click play. Okay, and then it'll go. So you want to make sure all of them are doing are labeled that way. Let's see. Okay, yep, play after previous. Play after previous. Play after previous. Play after previous. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So they're all done the same way. They're all labeled the same thing. So then what you do is you go to file. So now I want to, I want to show it on my TV. Uh, well, this is where it gets a little different from anything else I'd experienced. Uh, so you go to file and you want to say publish to the web. And the reason you have to publish it to the web is because it won't go from like one slide to the next automatically. And that was what was keeping me from being able to have the videos just go one after the other. Okay. So you're going to click publish to the web. Okay. And then it says, do you want a link? Yes, you do. Now here where it says auto advanced slides. So you see how it says every three seconds there. Well, I thought that meant that like, it's going to play a video every three seconds. No, that's the interval between slides basically. And so uh, what you want to do, I did 30 seconds, but you can do 10 seconds. That's fine. Um, so then you're going to click start slideshow as soon as the player loads. Yes. Restart the slideshow after the last slide. Yes. Okay. And then you're going to go to publish. Are you sure you want to publish this selection? Yes. Okay. Now, um, then what you'll do, let me put myself over there is, uh, now that's a, a link you can copy. Uh, I believe there was something I saw that said you had to, um, like it can only be accessed if you're in the, like our ISD Google. Um, so we'll see what happens here. So I'm going to copy that. Okay. And then I'm going to go to another thingy here, another tab. See if that'll work. Okay. All right. So then, oh, fun. Okay. All right. So, all right. Hold on, hold on. Isn't technology fun? Okay. Um, Now, let's see if we can put it here. Let's see if I can do it. All right, yay, okay. Mm. Okay, let me see if I go to another slide, what will happen? Okay, all right, so I'm not sure why that first slide is not working, but there you go. Now, what you also want to do is make sure that it is, um, 
make sure over here that it is you've clicked play and it's playing otherwise it's still gonna make you click like one from one slide to the next okay uh, so you want to click play and then um, let's see if it'll advance to the next one the truth is not one of them Okay, so it just goes from one to the next. Welcome to Innovations Academy. Try something new. Okay, so yes, some of these videos are not available and I'm not sure why, but uh, ultimately what I showed you how to do, uh, that should work, okay? Uh, if you have more questions, uh, just email me and uh, I'll, I'll respond. Thank you very much. I appreciate you uh, wanting to know about this.